Hey guys, welcome back. have a look at BMS CE that is BMS College of Engineering. It is an autonomous college affiliated to Vishweshwaraya Technological University, Bilgam. This college was started in the year 1946 and today it offers 13 UG and 16 PG courses. Now speaking about the rank of this college, this college is ranked at 69th by NIRF. While if you go to Outlook India, this college is placed at 40th rank and uh, India Today have uh, ranked it at 6th. Uh, Actually, the India Today ranking is uh, for the private institutions. Now coming on to the modes of admissions. In order to get admission in BMSC, you have to either appear for KCET or Comet K. KCET is mainly for the students who have been residing in Karnataka for at least 7 years and uh, Comet K is for students in India including Karnataka. If you couldn't make it in either of the examinations, then you have got the option of management. But I don't recommend any of the student to take admission in any of the colleges in Karnataka through management quota because the fees you need to pay will be very high and uh, it's not worth it. So give your best in Comet K and CT and get admission through KCT or Comet K itself. Speaking about the fees, if you are taking admission through Comet K, your fees will be around uh, 2 lakh per year. But if you are taking admission through KCET, then uh, your fee structure varies from uh, category to category. Consider you are from general merit, then your fees will be in between uh, 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh per year. Now we will discuss about the main aspects. What is the cutoff ranking required to get into this college? Now, if you want to get into this college on the basis of KCET, then uh, the cutoff ranking varies from category to category. Here I will consider the cutoff rankings of uh, general merit. If you belong to general merit, you require at least a rank of 14,000 and at this rank you will get branches like industrial engineering. In order to get into top branches like CSE, ISE and ECE, you will require a rank of at least 900 or lesser than that. If you want to know more about uh, the cutoff rankings, you can uh, ask me in the comments or DM me on Instagram. In case of Comet K, if you want to get into top branches, then you require at least a rank of 2000. Then now about the campus, the infrastructure. The campus is 5 km away from the central railway station and the campus is spread over 12 acres of land. The area is uh, well utilized. They have uh, indoor basketball stadium. They have facilities for hockey, kabaddi, coco, etc and etc. They have a well equipped library. Now we will move on to the important aspect. Placement. This college have got a good placement record and the packages offered in this college are one of the best in Karnataka. Like if you visit Google, you will get to know that the median salary package offered is more or less 6.3 lakh per annum and uh, more than 200 companies visit every year to this college. In the year 2019, 88% of the students were placed and from students review, I came to know that the highest package offered was 48 lakh per annum and the average package was 5 lakh per annum and the lowest package was 4.5 lakh per annum. Now, now, whether it is worth it to take admission in this college or not. Worth it is based on what you invest in your studies and what you get in return. If you are getting admitted in this college on the basis of KCET in any of the core branches, then you should surely go for it. Don't miss this opportunity. You should surely go. But if you are getting admitted through Comet K, then try to get into branches like CSE and ISC because good packages are offered for these branches. So if you have any kind of doubt, please ask me in the comments or DM me on Instagram. Please like the video, share the video and yes, don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you. See you next time.